Welcome back, guys, to Golden Sun. Dark Dawn, where we hit the waves again, looking for our last piece of umber gear after finding a lovely little location with yet another gin. After getting ourselves a new summon and more other stuff from old terrain. Is that a good enough intro for you? That's what we did. And now what are we doing? Of course, getting more goodies. Not gonna find a gin there in an island we can't even land on to, so let's keep on continuing wrong. Oh, those slimes are just natural to the war as well, okay. I knew that. Finish him! I say, surely that's enough. I feel like I need more powerful weapons at this point. Alright, no way on to some islands nearby it. Nothing seemingly to find just yet. Apart from the entrance to wherever this is, which it seems to be spiraltastic by any chance. A weird nymph and some goblords. Always a stupid name. I know who to attack. We don't know if the dragon or how. Well, the weird nymph is down. We got rid of the healer. I guess that's an important thing in of itself. I'll sort you. And then to deal with the rest. Beautiful healing. Nasty attacks, right. I'll finish him. Let's get ourselves into our Amrigir location. They give a fair bit of experience as well. Level 42 learns Stone Spire for Matthew. Still gaining abilities. Not bad. That's why I'm hoping, like, Amity and stuff could maybe learn. If they could, pretty please. It would be nice if we could learn Wish. The Wish line would be great. Alright, Centurion's howling out. It's not going to one-shot the guy, but this will. A double attack isn't that great, but a weird curse will help finish anyone off. This is going to be an easy killer. Another galactic blow. Alright, two of reach level 38 in the back party. Of course, with all this experience flying around, you'd expect it. Nowadays, games don't really punish you for not using members too much, do they? Back in the day, they always did. You never got, like, I, you either didn't get experience at all, or you got cut experience. Which means you had really low level other characters if you did care to use them at all. You had to stick in with just a few characters. Basically give them the benefit of the doubt. Or just send them to a grinding area later and try to pick them up a bit. Spirals! Technically, I should attack the same one over and over, thinking about it. They've got about 180 HP. I don't mind if everyone's howling like that. We know that Matthew, regardless, will finish the last one. They're the experience givers. Alright, time to cast a reveal. And get in on the volcano. Right, the Burning Island Cave. Luckily not Burning Us Cave. It seems I need to drop these two things down. Now the thing is, can I reach with move from here? No. So I need to fall onto that section maybe? And then there's a grip bit there. Hey, 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 hey enemies. If you're Pyro Drabrudal Troll. Which one do you think should die first? I've not got too much HP. Rising Dragon is going to do a crap ton of damage to this guy. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're resistant. Alright, he's been gripped by an evil spirit. The Brutal Troll recovers HP. I don't think that's going to keep him alive after this goes to work, do you? Ooh, nice experience again. Well, a higher level area by the look of it. Wait, is that to grip 
and swing? That's a random thing to add late game. I got this one. My thermal synergy can create a solid updraft of warm air. It doesn't work everywhere, but it's great in a spot like this. Okay then, sir. Let's equip that. And then wonder what else other things are. Like, what's that over there? So that's just going to boost me up high. Oh, it actually boosted me way up on high. Okay. Oh, shoot. I should have cast a move from there. The Jester's armlet has been given to Yolio. Now, I still can't reach. So we got to reach another location for that. But we can drop down as a year. Jester's armlet. Alright, seems to be relatively good. What's, what's his details again? Maximum PP up. So it's pretty much for all the extra characters in some senses. Hey me! Have a nice spiky armlet. So I've got to get an updraft going from there by the look of it. Maybe I should have headed around the whole location first, but you know. Let's not do anything that makes sense now. I don't even have to use move if I'm getting up like that, so that's not too bad. Hopefully I'm landing in an okay place. I guess I could use grip to the middle pylon. Okay, I can actually head back to here. That's nice. So you got to imagine this is going to do... Not move. Oh, a gin! Fiery gin. Fiery gin. Come to me so I can win. Treasure chest with umber gear. Umber knuckle has been given to you earlier. Oh, a weapon, eh? That's what I was wondering with all this gear being given, to be honest. Savage Raptor Feral Russian Shadow Cannon. 160, a big upgrade. We kind of lose our... Nice ability, though, in some senses. You must feel pretty lucky, to be honest. There's, like, all this gear that's basically made for you. Just all over the place. Very, very specific. And you get to have a matching set, so you'll look spandabulous versus everyone else. Right, time to level it up, I guess. Good first attack. Got a hit to get those levels. Alright, so I kind of want to go back across the thermal way again. Oh no, I can go this way now. No, I can't. Don't be silly. Got to go up to go down. Or I could have gone from the other side. Oops. I guess that was an option too. I could have just come from the top platforms. That would have made sense! Oh, we got that treasure chest. So that's great. Hello, fire friend. Hey! Bye, Rodra. I'm about to find something here. Get away! in case Matthew wants to howl it out a bit. Not enough. 121 damage is still a fair bit for Reese normal melee, so that's not bad. Well, it doesn't matter who we're fighting now. The howl will come out all the same. If he used this dragon, he would hit both of them. Fail rush. It's a 
same ability, but she regains hit points from attacking. Gotta keep her martial arts combos going. 15k experience. Yolo's reached level 42. Reef's reached level 41. Amateur's reached level 38. Himmy's reached level 39 and learned Slain Dragon. We really need to get her in the party, don't we? To be honest, for HP wise, we're not doing too badly. Let's get you in there, Himmy. Do you have a messed up Jin Seb? No, you don't. So that's cool. I don't need to give anyone a knife, Jim. Because we're about to get another one. Yeah, of course you would, mate. Get back over here, you. What can I thermal from here? Not you. Let's push this down first. And then we're going to go about trapping that gin, aren't we? Come here, you little blighter. You know I can't jump to you there, but I can send you skyward. Yeah, but now you're trapped. What's this? On the door is carved a sudden crest with an opening like a blade shaped keyhole. Perhaps something goes in it? Something we don't have yet. Otherwise, it would have given us an item option, surely. Don't call me Shirley. I should name get used to it. Ha ha jokes. Right, let's head up and then grip our way over. We'll be able to swing straight on that gin. Without him expecting it. We're coming for you. Hello. Right then, Mars Ginny. Oh, we really should have equipped a bear weapon for you, though, to be honest. We probably have one. And we want to use Mercury against you, do we? That's handy. Alright, Roaring Dragon. Boost and allies attack with martial spirits. Roaring Dragon. Conjure a dragon whose roar brings doom. Slaying Dragon. Conjure a dragon's image to annihilate foes. She's fast! Seems like it would affect many people. A fairly strong spell. Now these are my dragons though. They're way better. Super effective, you know. Abu. Those are my kind of dragons. Flare has joined you as set to Sveta. This inspiring fire spirit is encountered in the volcanic island cave. Flare's ecstatic light elevates and refreshes the mind. Not to Sveta. To Eolio. Actually, if we do that, we don't need a ninth one just yet. It does give some stat boosts. That means that everyone has their base classes to maximum. There are options for other classes. I've explained never Golden Suns. Let's get out of here then. There's a bit of a mix of matchy feet. You ready for a fight there, Himmy? Well, the second attack on the list, aren't you, after all? Her attack seems so. Oh, no, no! Alright then. Can you have, like, Roaring Dragon Heal? That'd be cooler. So let's reach level 42! As we keep on going, right. Uh. 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 You have revived, though. But so does Matthew. Someone's going to have a better weapon for her. I know it. Can she use bows? Nope. Sword she wants, isn't it?
It's probably a better one than some other party member, to be fair. We stop by a proper shop. Find ourselves a find ourselves a blooming forge. All right, well, with that place sorted, defeated, and completed. Yeah, you better go for that guy. We know you can finish him one after all. Go on, Himmy. It's a good sword. You learned critical move. Nice. The way she holds the sword as well, it's up across her body. Rising Dragon will finish the job. Has reached level 38. I think Karis. I think I might run two wind gin. Wind people. Would be best. Gonna work. Everyone can finish off the guys in one, can't they? Oh, sleep across the party. Don't hit Matthew. We don't tend to get affected very often by status effects, do we? Oh, job done. Let's find out where else I can get some more gin from. We're down to six left, aren't we? That's not bad. Let's just skirt round the, uh, the horrificness of this island. I'm sure these things give treasures, but only coins kind of sucks. Alright, so this is... Just making sure I've really checked everywhere out, to be honest, at this point. I think we checked all the islands on the outside edges down. Wow, Matthew leveled up from that one. A tiny amount of experience it was away from level 43. Inlet here. There's a beach here, so that's cool. That's outside AFA. And we got into a bit of a troublesome territory there, I feel. Just a little bit. Right, Himmy, can you survive the attacks versus these guys, though, really? That's what I'm worried about. You have some really good spells, though, compared to other things. Nettle seems good. Slaying Dragon as well. Let's use Slaying Dragon this time. Delusion? Yep. That's a pretty good hit. Essentially, she has her own spell line. Matthew does barely anything. Drag down, cast it. Matthew! And no one's gonna attack Hemi. Great. Strike them all. Just need you to attack across the party, really. That was the right amount of damage in the right places. It means Roaring Dragon is quite good. Monsters back in there were better, though. Right, so that's AFA. IFI. This is Ton Fun? Now, this is something else entirely. Champa! Home, sweet home? Hey, it's Yolio! You're finally home! Yolio, it really is you! Yolio, I heard you were dead! Welcome back! We could use a little cheer right now! Where's Briggs? Didn't he come back with you? I thought he was heading out to rescue you! That ship looks like his! See, it's like this. So that's what happened. Sounds rough. An honourable pirate to the end. Seems like all these warriors of elves and their kids were a good influence on Briggs. He wasn't always so heroic. 
So we're gonna go and stop the eclipse now. Thank goodness. Be careful though. Accepting Briggs' death straight away and going, oh, okay. It's fine. Go be a hero. A barber is on the top of the cliff. She's refused to budge from the spot. Oh, barber. I know you're anxious to get going, but take a short rest first. You'll feel better. Obviously, I missed. Oh, I missed. Right, have you got a shop? We really need a shop. I guess the barber is right. If burning the houses keeps the monsters at bay, then that's what we have to do. Really? What? Got ya, oh bubba. This formidable chairman lady is Briggs' grandmother. She is respected and occasionally feared by a countryman. She's descended from the ancient Angkor civilization. She maintained their advanced blacksmithing tradition. Ooh, blacksmithing! But it's burning up. Even if the eclipse ends soon, we won't have anywhere to live. You burnt your village. And you're looking that way. Is there a village? Oh, no, wait a second. You're not looking that way. Somehow, Baba knew that something like this would happen. So she made us take our stuff out of the village. Okay, there's a village nearby then? The Shaman was just a poor village. Now it's a poor country. Bigger does not mean richer. Alright, here's the normal item seller. Any cool artifacts you've got here? Oh, an echo gem. A heirloom of Lady Hinacho's family. Is that the one they were saying was stolen? Not that I need to echo locate anything anymore. So that's a bit of a dull moment. Let's sell the beast knuckles here. I mean, they're only Volacek's heirloom. In some respects. We don't need it, though. Bit harsh to say, to be fair. We'll sell another synergy rod. Silver vest. Just make a little bit more space on some other people. The U bow isn't needed anymore. Nor do I really need all these safety boots I'm carrying around. I think I need Creighton's letter. Maybe I'll just keep holding it for now. I don't know. Doesn't seem that useful, does it? The sword of dusk, after having it so long, it's no longer useful. It's a bit of a shame that, to be honest. The lure cap we keep holding on to is because it kind of does have an alternate use, so that's not too bad. Uh, in regards to everyone else. Get all your stuff for the moment. Rubbish normal gauntlets, they can go. Rubbish silver vests, that can go. They're yeah, still carrying the rest of the stuff. Alright, there's a couple more spaces made. About was Briggs' grandmother, and Briggs wasn't a young man. How old is she? Ancient, by the sound of things. Get down from there. Right, I knew it wasn't going to be grip. I know what it is. I want you. Come here. Poor guy, you won't want to join me after that. At least stuck. Let's go get him. There are weapon shops, etc. How do we get down? We walk through the water. Lead me, oh shallows. Oh, we've got to go from here. And we can't get past there. But you can get around here, which is why it wasn't an obvious first path. Well, we could get that then. I get the fruit. Hey, Jin, come out. You want to fight me, right? No, you're just going to join me. Quite happy about that. I definitely thought it'd be a fight. The Mars Jin Fugue join you is set to Sveta. Fugue! The spirit represents the fire passion of music and is found in Champa. Fugue's infectious rhythm exhausts foe's mental strength. Right. Fugue! Move from Sveta. Eolio, you got yourself another friend. Five Jin to go! And if I'm right in saying we did get all the missables, then we're looking very good. Right, where did you say your Baba was? As the barber goes, the ancient ways the uncle civilization will go with her. Sad. The village is over there, but instead of living it, we have to sleep in tents. What did we do wrong? Let's go to the village. As a pirate nation, we always need weapons. We keep the armory well stocked. Care to buy something? 
Yes, I would. Depends if it's good or not. Let's look at the artifacts again. Campshire, not so much. Sword of Dusk. Silver Blades, a little bit better, but nah. Muramasa is great, but curse. Which sucks, really. I mean, that's a bit of an upgrade for you. And again, that's a bit more of an upgrade for you. But if Obaba really can forge something, then we might be better off waiting. The Crystal Rod here could upgrade you as well. Just best to wait then. You never know what we might get. Let's go over to Champa Village then. Burning where? In the middle of the eclipse, eh? Is she staying in here? They all set it on fire. Hello! Remains of some unfortunate soul. He's properly skeletal already, though. Okay, trying to run back to the village to get my things wasn't my best idea. <laughs> it's a bit cash about his death. If I just go out, above won't last. We have to keep finding more fuel to keep us safe. So she's up there, is she? If the old lady would just come down and join the rest of us, she'd be easy to protect. So there's people dying because she refuses to move? Did this kind of thing happen everywhere? Or just to pirates? Everywhere. You were not, a uh, People that are wanted to be slain, trust me. Ooh, a hidden cave. Don't mind if I do. He runs the other way. So the fires keep the enemies away. That's good, I guess. What's this leading to? Oh, hello. It's locked. Thank you. Find a key, then. Maybe Obaba has it. I don't know. It's a bit weird, really, thinking about my gameplay at the moment. I've got all the, uh... How do I get past you again? There we go. The Umbra gear. I've got the goodies in that sense. If only I'd been able to reach that cave under the wharf, I would have been safe there. Would you have now? Is there something down there, like a hole? Okay, so it looks like I can still climb the place. Well then, oh Barbo, if you're in there, do you want us to get you out? Because Eolio is probably not going to like you just randomly being in this kind of peril. You know. The beds are on fire too. Oh, what of life? It's a fairly rich goodie we found then. So from here is a way to climb up further by the look of it. With thermal. Did you do this knowing that Yolio could get up here, oh Baba? I said, ah, we're blocked in. It's a box. It's on fire. Doesn't even say that. Just gonna touch it, examine it. Mm, it's well crafted. It was, it was made like this. Nice and fiery. We only just learnt about his thermal abilities. Hello, Obaba. You watch me climb. Alright, make it easier for ourselves in future, sure. Sure. I'll check all the stuff. An oil drop. Yeah, we need that in there right now. So this way is a storage room as well. Nope, dead guy. Nope, no, let's not grip the dead guy. Oh, what? I have to be facing you to see it. If the captain's gone now, maybe I should just get going by myself. You knew the captain had gone, had you? How? 
There's got to be a goodie in there. I just can't be bothered to look for every little thing. Completionists beware. Alright, so obviously we want to head out that way, but keep checking just in case there's a treasure chest somewhere. Or a key. A key's good. Matthew gave the cave door key to Sveta. What's it say? Oi, I want to read this. Looks like it could tell me exactly what's going on with that. Nope. Nope. We just got the key. What do you think's in there? Treasure? A gin? A will and testament from someone's father? A barber's blacksmith and technique. I've tried to teach Briggs my unique skills, but it doesn't seem to take. If someone is to follow my footsteps, it will be Eolio. He's the only one with the power to infuse items as I do. Ah, you mean we like thermal? So this must be Obaba's room. That looks like I could take a nice staff from there. Obaba! You're out here, I know it. Great grandma! That voice! Eolio! Well, well. Yeah, I thought you'd been captured by beastmen, and it turns out you were out making friends. Wait, you? Hello, oh Papa. Oh Papa looks close to it, Clayton. I haven't seen you in thirty years. Yes, the old man. I remember you. Cradle or something. You look the same as you did then. How could that be? It's Clayton, actually. It's also a long story. Before you guys get started, I've got something I have to say. Can I say my piece? I don't know. It sounds like I'm not going to like it. But I suppose I'd find out eventually anyway. During the battle in Morgal, Dad. Briggs put up a good fight. Yeah, he sure did, great grandma. So he's gone ahead of me. It seems your Baba is doomed to unhappiness. I suppose I'll be following him soon enough. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to when I see him. Now, Craden, you exposed the Golden Sun and now you can't age. Does that sum it up? Um, well, yes. To live so long in bones already old, I don't envy your gift. So who are the rest of you? Probably a ragtag group of scrappy heroes out to stop this nasty eclipse, eh? Good. As the old man can tell you, I have a knack with fire in the forge. If you find any interesting materials, bring them to me. I'll make you gilly, can't get anywhere else. Thank you. I'm going too, great grandma. See you around. I thought as much. Good luck. Onward we will be. Right, so we can make ourselves some stuff. By the look of it, let's hope it's good stuff. Please. You got some pretty rare materials there. If you want some metal work done, I'm your woman. Right, who's got something for me to work on? Quality Zoll. Who's holding the quality Zoll? It's Reef, isn't it? At least got one. There's definitely more we've got. You want me to make something out of quality Zoll? Yes. Yes, I can definitely make something impressive with this. Come back later and see. Are you kidding? Do I actually have to do something here? Oh, well, you're going over there. Okay. Let's check these. It's just an empty pot. This must be your forging place. I bet. Of course, this wasn't going to be an empty pot. Is this Briggs' room? I can't remember. It's been a couple of years since we played. Hello, forging. Patience, you can't just rub a job like this. Come back later. Is that what Thermal does? Okay. Right, so we have now discovered the person who can forge us some nice new gear. The question for that is really, uh... Yeah. How long is it going to take? How do I make it happen? Well, we've got the cave key for below, so let's go there. Is it just a simple case like it was before? I... Basically leave to the world map and come back again. 
But that will take a little bit of working of back and forth, won't it? Let's see what's in here. I wonder if there's another gym. Who's got the item? Ah, you do, because we cleared out a little bit. Cave door key. Was of course going to lead to treasure. It's something to send downwards by the look of it. A mimic in here? The champ of pirates money, 88 coins. Rubbish. More money. Man champ, but you have 8 coins. 888 next. 6 coins. The champ of pirates supplies weren't exactly that great then. Except if there was something hidden even deeper within. Or a Kalkin. Alright, we got ourselves another forgeable material. And it's our Kalkin for goodness sake. It's gonna be good stuff. Well, let's get out to the world map and then come back and see if that's the case. See, so if I can forge myself a load of new gear, that would be great for me. It's quite a walk back and forth, though. No gin around, either, which is a sad thing to see. Also, we're looking for those last five. Where might they be? Can I even get them before the end of the game? Might be in the last place after all. Oh, but what have you meant? Your new gear's ready! Here, take it! So we got a Verdant Sword and gave it to Yolio. Right, what's a Verdant Sword? A light blade which is better than Phaeton's blade. Okay. It's better than Master Moon, but Master Moon has that howl of brilliance. If I equip that to you then, and I move this one on to Himmy for now, that means everyone's got good combat options for weaponry, but we have ourselves Mithril to forge, we have ourselves Quality Zol to forge, we have ourselves some Orichalcum to forge. So I'm going to end the episode a little bit early, and I'll come back next time to show you the spoils, because I'm going to have to go in, out, in, out, shake it all about, about quite repeatedly. So tune in next time for more Golden Sun, and I'll see you then with new gear. Bye-bye.